Hey guys, what's going on? It's Raven, and this is another custom action figure video review thing, whatever you want to call it, of a custom Commander clone Jedi killer that I did. Uh, this was probably about six or seven years ago, and he's one of my favorite customs. Um, this guy was uh, hidden, well, he wasn't hidden. On one of my display shelves, I have a lot of spear bikes. And I completely forgot about this guy. I went down there and I was looking through some things. And I was like, oh, I forgot all about the Jedi Killer that I made. This actually has a bit of a story behind it. Um, this is a former clone commando that has basically turned into a bounty hunter slash Jedi Killer. There was a lot of customs like this when Revenge of the Sith came out. A lot of Mandalorian Jedi Killers and Clone Trooper Jedi Killers. It was really interesting and I wanted to do my own, so I did. So basically what this figure is, is a clone commander. Let me take him off. The Sith speeder here. Uh, this is Darth Maul's Sith speeder that I repainted white. And added some terrible uh, stickers from a... I don't even know what they're from. Pro could be a Jedi Starfighter, maybe. Um, I don't know. This thing could use an update. I think I can definitely improve on this. Besides just the all-white paint scheme. I could definitely improve on this, and I think I will at some point. So there's that. Then we have here our said Jedi Killer. Now he has a couple different parts on him. First, um, he's wearing a pauldron from an Arc Commando. He's wearing his comma, but I have cut out the skirt, so it is just a belt now. And then down here, from his comma, he did have a uh, pistol holster, which I basically kind of uh, sewed together and made look like it was put onto his leg with... Um, something he found and kind of scavenged and made a a, a uh, calf or ankle holster out of that and then um, have his gun here I believe this is a uh, this is Boba Fett's gun isn't it I think it is and I painted in some silver on it this guy has a basic silver paint scheme oh and he also has a Jango Fett gauntlet from the deluxe Jango Fett and then uh, silver details where there was red and I have covered up his uh part of his visor in white. I always kind of like that Commander Neo look, so I wanted to mimic that a little bit. And then the top of his head is all silver, and he has a silver stripe down one eye. And then silver where that red stripe used to be. And then, um, like with my other customs, this is a old urban camouflage t-shirt that I made into a kind of uh, over-the-shoulder style cape. I think he came out pretty well. He's one of my older customs. I mean, all my customs that I've been showing are from a good while ago. I haven't customized figures in a long time. I got into Gundam, oh, probably six years ago or so, and I've been customizing those ever since. I haven't customized a Star Wars figure at all. But I wanted to show you guys these, because I think some of them are rather noteworthy. Some of them are noteworthy in bad ways, whereas they are very bad and laughable customs. But... Like I said, this video is about sharing creativity with all of you and uh, just kind of sharing my what work I've done and the progression over the years I have. Because everyone has that. When you start doing line of work, whether it be any kind of customizing or any kind of trade, it doesn't matter. It could be graphics or video editing. It could even be as a mechanic. You have a body of work that continues to evolve and hopefully you learn and it gets better. That's part of the reason I'm showing you these figures, these really old customs that I did when I was first learning how to customize and paint and things like that. Just so you guys can see where I come from and where I am now, I think I've improved a lot over the last eight or so years since I started customizing figures when I was a teenager. So I'm going to leave you guys with uh, my Jedi Killer here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It helps the channel out. It helps me... Uh, expand my audience a little bit. If you have any comments about this, please leave it down below, whether they be good, bad, or negative. And if you have any customs that you want me to take a look at, I'd love to look at them, because I love stuff like that. It's always amazing. Also in the description, you can find a link for the eBizzle at Captain Raven on eBay.com, also my Star Wars Guild Republic referral link. And I will be doing Star Wars Old Republic videos in the future, if I haven't already by the time this has come out. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm working on some big projects right now. Some may already be out on the channel. I've done a lot of these custom videos in advance to fill out the time in which 
I won't be able to post videos as I'm working on projects that are very long or very video edit heavy. I can put these out very quickly so you guys have something to look at if you want to take a look at some of these custom figures while I work on my bigger projects. So thanks for tuning in, may the force be with you, and of course, Zigzion! Pew!